Cruz. Read along with me as I read aloud the AR book called The Fox and the Stork. Retold and illustrated by Graham Percy. AR book level is 3.3 with 0 0.5 points. The Fox and the Stork There once was a sly fox who liked to play tricks on his friends. One day, he thought of a trick to play on Miss Stork. The fox carefully wrote her an invitation to dinner that night. Miss Stork was very happy to get the invitation. She had never been to Mr. Fox's house before. How kind of him, she thought. She quickly went to buy a new dress to wear. That night, Miss Stork was all dressed up. Her feathers were sleek and shiny. She happily knocked on Mr. Fox's door. Come in, come in, smiled Mr. Fox. Dinner is ready. Miss Stork sat down at the table. She was very hungry and something smelled wonderful. Just then, Mr. Fox brought in two bowls of steaming soup. Miss Stork's mouth began to water. Mr. Fox hungrily drank the steaming soup from his own bowl. But poor Miss Stork couldn't drink a single mouthful. Her narrow beak was too long for the shallow bowl. Mr. Fox looked up from his empty bowl. He saw that Miss Stork hadn't even touched her soup. I'm so sorry to like my fine cooking. He said with a sly, greedy grin, Let me help you. And in no time at all, Mr. Fox gulped down Miss Stork's soup as well. Miss Stork was angry at Mr. Fox's trick, but she didn't show it. Instead, she smiled sweetly. Mr. Fox, she said, you have been so kind. Please join me for dinner at my house next week. Then she flew home very hungry indeed. The following week, week Mr. Fox went to dinner at Miss Stork's house. He wore his best clothes and his shiniest shoes. He carried a large bunch of stolen ro red roses. Come in, smiled Miss Stork. I'm afraid dinner is not quite ready. Please join me in the kitchen while I put the finishing touches on it. Mr. Fox followed Miss Stork to the kitchen. He watched while she finished chopping, mixing, and stirring her soup. It smelled wonderful. The fox licked his lips. All ready now, said Miss Stork brightly. She poured the soup into tall, thin jars. Miss Stork easily dipped her beak into one jar and drank up all her soup. But the hungry fox couldn't reach a single drop. His nose was far too short and stubby. I'm so sorry to like my fine cooking, said Miss Stork, just as Mr. Fox had said to her the week before. Let me help you. The hungry fox watched as Miss Stork drank up all his soup as well. As Mr. Fox said goodbye to Miss Stork, she smiled her sweetest smile. 
Thank you so much for coming, she said. But do remember, if you play tricks on other people, they might play tricks on you. Always treat others as you want to be treated. Good night. The end. Thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed reading with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell so I won't miss any new upcoming videos. Have a great day!